Welcome back to RideBits. In this video, I'm going to cover one of the most versatile and critical areas of the RideBits vehicle pricing setup. The setup of Rate Groups Advanced. One thing I would like to stress is the importance of testing every new rate you set up within RideBits. You wouldn't want your customers to get the wrong price. So let's begin at my RideBits dashboard. Click on Settings, Rate Setup, then click Setup Rate Groups Advanced. I'm going to need to scroll down a little so I can see the setup options. When you first sign up with RideBits, you will see that there is a rate group called Regular already set up. Do not, I repeat, do not try to delete this rate group. This rate group needs to be in RideBits. Starting with the Rate Groups tab, I'm going to create a new rate group. The reason I'm going to create this first new rate group is for the late night red eye trips. Since I have to pay my employees more for late night, I obviously have to pass that cost along to the customer. I am going to click on the add new rate group button. I will name this red eye rates and click save rate group. There you have it, my first new rate group. That wasn't so difficult. Now let's determine what time these new rates are going to go into effect. I'm going to click on my Schedules tab on the far right. I am going to click on the Add New Schedule button. Since this red eye pricing is based on the time of day, I'm going to leave the schedule type as Time of Day. Now I also like the name Red Eye, so I will call this schedule Red Eye as well. I am going to choose my starting time, ending time, click red eye rates, and click the save schedule button. OK, now I have given my new red eye rate group a schedule to base its pricing on. Now I could set up some actual prices for this new red eye rate group. If I wanted to, I could now scroll up to set up hourly based pricing, click the drop down, choose Rate Group Red Eye Rates, click the Add Rate button, and enter my pricing for the Red Eye Rate Group schedule. Looking below, I could click on Setup Distance Based Pricing, click the drop down, choose Red Eye Rates, click on my sedan, click the Add Rate button, and enter my Red Eye Pricing for Distance. Finally, I can click on Setup Flat Rate Zone to Zone Pricing, click the drop down in step number 3, choose my red eye rates, and then enter my amounts. OK, now that I have shown you how to set up pricing for a schedule based rate group, let's create a new rate group based on location. I am going to click back on Setup Rate Groups Advanced. Next, I'm going to create a new rate group pricing based on a 30 mile radius. Once again, I will go ahead and click on my Add New Rate Group button. Give it a name, 30 Mile Radius. Now this time, I'm going to click on the Location Rules tab on the far right. Next, I'm going to click the Add New Location Rule button, then give this new location rule a name. Let's say, 30 Mile Radius. I am going to choose anybody picked up and dropped off for this location rule is going to get the different pricing. My condition type will be is within a radius of since that is my goal for this setup. As you can see you can even set a different price just based on the state. The radius distance will be of course 30 miles. Then all I have to do is enter my address then click on my 30 mile radius rate group and click the save location rule button. Just like before, I could now go into my hourly, distance, and zone to zone flat rate setups and set up separate prices for trips within a 30 mile radius of my dispatch location. The third example I would like to show you is setting up static individual pricing for a corporate customer using a rate group. Do note that you can very easily set up a basic percentage or 
flat rate discount for corporate customers by scrolling up and clicking on set up promo discount codes. This would keep you from having to set up new pricing for individual corporate customers. If you do need to set specific prices and not just some discount, then you would need to set up a corporate rate group. Back to set up rate groups advanced, I'm going to click on the rate groups tab again. Click the add new rate group button and give it the name of my corporation. I'm going to call it the ABC Corp Rates. Then just click the Save Rate Group button. I will just click on my Corporate Accounts tab, click Add Corporate Account button, enter my info, choose my Corporate Account, then just click Save Corporate Account button. Next, just like I did with the previous two examples, I would just go to my Hourly, distance and zone to zone rate setups and enter the corporate account pricing by clicking on the drop down menus. Now everybody that belongs to that corporate account will get those exact rates. If you notice here on the left hand side of the screen you can basically do some of the same things you did by clicking on the tabs on the far right. You can choose the rate group once it has already been set up, and then add location rules, schedules, and corporate accounts to that particular rate group. Questions? Visit our website, ridebits.com, or email us at support at ridebits.com.